So you've signed up to take on the toast role at your local Toastmasters club, and now you're panicking. You're not sure exactly how to take on the role, what it should look like. Don't worry, you've come to the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you a live example of me delivering a toast at my local Toastmasters club, and I'll walk through what things you should really focus on to ensure you crush this role when you take it on at your club. Hey everyone, my name is Wade Patterson. My YouTube channel is all about public speaking, impactful communication, and I do a lot of videos about the Toastmasters roles through Toastmasters International. If any of those subjects are something that you think you could benefit from, please subscribe to my channel, comment on this video, let me know where you're watching from, and give the video a like. What I love about the toast roll is that it is one that is easy to pick up even if you're a new member to the club. Often we know what the theme of the upcoming meeting is going to be, if we have that information, we can prepare a short one to two minute toast revolving around that particular theme. And in my opinion, taking on the toast is easier than answering a table topics question because you have that opportunity to prepare for it. You're not caught off guard. In this video example, we're going to look at one of my Toastmasters meetings from December of last year. And the theme happened to be global Christmas traditions, which will make more sense when you see the sweater that I'm wearing. Let's take a look at how I did delivering the toast at this meeting that was focused around Christmas traditions. Feliz Navidad. <laughs> Joyeux Noel. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Thank you, Madam Toastmaster, Madam Area Director, fellow Toastmasters, and all of our Toastmasters on Zoom. As Moya mentioned, the theme of the day is Christmas traditions around the world. I've had the great pleasure and opportunity to experience Christmas on four different continents. Of course, in North America, as so many of us in this room have experienced, I've enjoyed over the years many celebrations with family and friends. 20 years ago, I had the opportunity to go on a family trip to Australia, and it is much different over there during Christmas time because that is their summer. We spent Christmas Day on the beach and had a barbecue that evening. 12 years ago, we were in the Middle East, in Bahrain. And while not everybody in the country celebrates Christmas there, we had a lot of family and friends and found a small expat community. And the fact there was a small number of us made those individuals feel like family and we enjoyed the celebration together. Over the last decade, I've had a number of opportunities to spend Christmas in England. And I've become addicted to copious amounts of crumpets, cups of tea, and keeping an eye on which song would become Christmas number one. What I've learned over the years is that it doesn't matter where the location is. Christmas is about spending time with the ones you love, experiencing the joy and the memories with those people. So I'd ask that you stand with me if you can, raise a glass and toast to global Christmas joy. Global, global Christmas, Christmas joy. joy. For those of you who have seen other examples of my live Toastmaster example videos, I have to apologize on this one. What you may have noticed is that the sound wasn't quite as good as I usually like it to be. I discovered at the last minute my mic had run out of batteries. I was then recording off of the internal mic in my camera, so the quality wasn't quite there. But I have to say, overall, I was pretty happy with how that toast went over. What were my strengths in this toast? Well, to start, I introduced the toast by saying Merry Christmas in three different languages. And that is something that captured the audience's attention right away. It was a unique start to a toast. The second thing I felt like I did pretty well in that toast was using pauses instead of ahs or ums. Ahs and ums are what we like to call crutch or filler words, and I've done a lot of video content about why we often as public speakers use these filler words instead of silence. Your goal as a public speaker should be to eliminate crutch words from your speech. 
And I felt like I did a pretty good job with this toast of not relying on any crutch or filler words. The final thing I felt like I did pretty well with this Toastmasters toast was the conclusion, the thing that we actually toasted to. I kept it short and sweet with three words to global Christmas joy. One of my pet peeves when it comes to Toastmaster toasts is often the thing that people end up toasting is a long sentence that the audience struggles to remember what it is they're supposed to say as they raise a glass and toast. My advice is to try to keep it to three, four words maximum. The shorter, the better. If you can toast one word, and everyone stands and says that together, nobody is going to forget what that word is, but every single additional word you add on, it makes it harder for the audience to remember. Keep your toast, the thing you actually toast to, short and sweet. All right, on to how I could have made this toast even better or areas that I need to improve for future toasts. The first, I think there was a bigger opportunity to add humor than what I tried or attempted to do in that speech. At no point did I really have the audience laughing. I think that sometimes you can get carried away with trying too hard to be funny, but this was a toast that had opportunities to add in a thing or two that could have increased the audience laughter. Why do we want to make the audience laugh? It does two powerful things when we're a public speaker. The first is that it relaxes your audience. Once they are laughing, they're chilled out. They know this is going to be an enjoyable speech. They relax. But the second thing it does is it relaxes you as the speaker. When you hear that audience laughter, it is one of the most calming things when you're standing on stage or standing in front of a group of people because you know you have their attention. You've captured them and you've got that confidence to continue going on and humor is one of the powerful devices to achieve that. Another thing I could have done a little bit better in this toast was the fact that I forgot to bring a glass of water up with me. Therefore, when I actually went to toast to Global Christmas Joy, I was scrambling back to my seat to retrieve that glass of water, come back up to the front and to drink it. It wasn't terrible, terrible, but it would have been a lot smoother, more seamless had I had that glass of water with me or even if I was holding it while I delivered the speech. But you want that to be nearby. For me, it was a little bit awkward. I go off camera for a second. I kind of turn my back to some of the other audience members as I retrieve my glass. Therefore, that is an area I could have improved and something to keep in mind for my next toast. As I mentioned earlier in the video, the toast is one of those roles that I think is such a great one for new Toastmasters members to take on. Let me know in the comments, is this a role you've taken on before? Are you planning to take it on at an upcoming meeting? If so, good for you. I hope that this video and the live example helps you out. And if you've made it this far through the video, I'd really encourage, please subscribe to my channel because it is my goal to not just put a few of these videos out, but many live Toastmasters examples covering all sorts of the roles that you may come across in a Toastmasters meeting. I want to help navigate you through those roles and explain how you can do them at a very high level. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are looking for a little bit of coaching help with your next speech, I am providing one-on-one -on -one evaluations. My contact email is in the video description. Reach out to me and let's discuss what that could look like.